Hello, my dear family of God. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Today is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time in the liturgical year B. Today, I would like to reflect with you on a theme, Wisdom, the best option. I read of a small village with surrounding villages having higher population than that village. That village was blessed with many resources, mineral resources, rich land, good water bodies, fertile land that brings out good food and good crops. They have all commercial crops, timbers and other resources coupled with rich human resources. They were always praying to God for riches, for they were poor, for health, for they were sick, for success, for they were failures. They prayed for jobs because there were no jobs. They prayed for peace in their homes because their homes were not peaceful. They prayed against accidents because their roads are very bad. They prayed so that God should bless them with many fortunes. They cried, in fact, every day and their tears reached heavens. So God decided to answer them one day and he asked them, what at all did they seek? This notwithstanding, their leaders, being traditional, political and even religious, have deceived them all the time to seek for blessings of material gains, blessings of things that do not last forever. So when God asked them, what do they seek? They said, we want nothing than riches. We want power. We want fame. We want material gains. That is what they asked of God. And God told them, lack of knowledge, my people perish. Today, reflecting on the theme, wisdom. Wisdom is the application of knowledge. The community might have knowledge because they knew they were rich in materials. They knew they have all the resources in their lands. However, they never applied the knowledge they have to become wisdom. What do we see around us? We see so many riches. We see so many mineral resources. We see so many good water bodies. But what has happened to them? We have destroyed them because we don't have knowledge. Without wisdom, which we seek today, which is the best option according to our theme, without wisdom, riches and material resources will be wasted and misused. Without wisdom, what we have will be lost. Without wisdom, we destroy the only survival that we have. Without wisdom, what we have can become an enemy in our life. So we have so many things around us, but because we don't seek wisdom, we don't have the wisdom, we have failed as a community. Look at what Galamse has done to us. Our water bodies are being destroyed. Look at what we have done to our very selves. No jobs for people. Nothing, good health is lost. Our roads are so bad that we recall so many accidents in the course of the year. Why can't we be wise for a moment? Because we seek benefits that last for a moment. We seek pleasures that last for a short time. We are not able to keep our resources in good shape. How do we get wisdom? In today's second reading from Hebrews, we are told that the word of God is a source of wisdom. For it judges rightly, 
For the word of God descends rightly. For the word of God helps us to make the right decisions. For the word of God is able to help us to open our minds, our eyes to see clearly and understand the facets of life. We need the word of God to give us wisdom. Without the word of God, our wisdom will become human wisdom. We need the wisdom of God to manage the resources that we have. In the gospel we hear of a man seeking salvation, seeking the way to salvation. And God tells him, go and sell everything you have. Your material gains, your property, your asset cannot lead you to salvation, to survival. You need the wisdom of God to survive and to make it into the salvation of God. As a country, let us help ourselves. As a community, let us help ourselves. As a family, let us help ourselves. As individuals, let us help ourselves and our communities that we live in. For we need wisdom to live as a family. We need wisdom to live as a community. We need wisdom to live as a country. A church without wisdom is a waste. For we have deceived so many people with our churches. We need to set up and listen to the word of God. Without wisdom, a country, a family, a leader, it's like a wasteful island. We pray that God should give us wisdom so that we'll be able to discern what is right for our families, for our countries, and for our family members. Our communities need wisdom. Our leaders need wisdom. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of the week. We are within the rosary month. Let us all try our best to pray it every day, seeking the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Stay blessed.